Day 15, Calendar Club Challenge. 15 miles in the books. Woo! And today, honestly, was a little rough. I'm gonna throw the map of my run up here. Splits up here. And I ran that in one go. But tomorrow, I get to split up my runs. I'm probably gonna do a 10 and six or a nine and seven. But we'll see how I feel during that first run. And today, I'm so glad that I iced my knees three times yesterday because the first six or so miles, my knees were fine. And then it started to creep up little by little, little by little, and started to ache just a little bit. So I think the key is ice. And yeah, today it was just not that great of a day in terms of how I was feeling. And my time actually reflects that. My average pace was 10, 10 per mile for 15 miles. And yesterday was, I think, 940 per mile for 14 miles. The day before that was 943. So I basically added 30 seconds per mile. And that's okay. It's bound to happen. And it's happening right now. So, yeah, I'm just, I can't even think right now because I'm so tired. I'm just glad that it's over with. And this, is what I was looking for, for it to suck. So I'm glad it's sucking now. And I have 16 more days to go, 380 more miles to run. So far, so good. Let's go. Bring on the pain. Let's get to some questions. The first question comes from Nathaniel. He asked, do you think that running builds more lean muscle and is that your current goal? So running actually does not build more lean muscle. The reason why runners look lean is because generally they are running a lot, therefore they are expending a lot of energy, burning a lot of calories and basically melting that fat off. Plus, most people actually have muscle underneath. So when you combine the two, they're burning so many calories, they're melting off the fat. That's why generally runners look lean. If I wanted to build lean muscle, I would actually put myself on a hypertrophy program. Hypertrophy just means muscle growth and it can be achieved by an eight to 12 rep range with a 60 to 90 second break in between each set. When I think about programming, for me personally, I'm a big fan of the powerlifting or compound movements as my main movements, and then three or four accessory movements after those compound movements. So when I'm thinking about my week or my day, I really like the push-pull leg split. With the push-pull leg split, you can choose which compound movements or powerlifting movements that you wanna do. So with push, you're looking at bench press, and then I can also include an overhead press. You can do one or you can do both. And all of this also is barbells. Pull would be rows or power rows, or even pull-ups, I would consider that a compound movement as well. And then legs would be squats and deadlifts. Choose one to two exercises for each day. And then after you complete that exercise, do three or four additional accessory movements. And these are of your choosing. You can literally do anything. For me, how I look at it is, as long as you're hitting the rep range, it'll make your muscles grow or you'll be in hypertrophy. Again, it's an eight to 12 rep range with a 60 to 90 second break in between each set. And actually right now, I'm not interested in building more muscle. I'm actually fine with the size I am right now because the size I am right now, even though I am pretty small at about 133 pounds or so, it is the perfect size in terms of performance, in terms of jujitsu, in terms of running. And really that's what I'm focused on right now is performance in jujitsu and in running. And since we're on the topic anyways, a few additional notes. You have to make sure that you're feeding your body enough food and calories and especially protein for your muscles to grow. The National Academy of Sports Medicine recommends that a strength athlete gets 0.5 to 0.8 grams per body pound and an endurance athlete get 0.5 to 0.8 grams per body pound. Traditionally as well, in order to grow your muscles, people will bulk and then cut. When you're bulking, you're purposely adding on weight at a slow rate, preferably 0.5 pounds per week. I think that's a good rate. And while you're adding this 0.5 pounds per week, you're lifting, you're doing those hypertrophy sets, your muscles will grow, but you will gain a little bit of fat. Though when you start cutting, 
basically what you're doing is you're shedding off that fat while at the same time maintaining as much muscle as possible. This traditional way of bulking and cutting, you'll get there a lot faster than if you were to maintain and then do this hypertrophy style workout as well. Yes, you can still gain muscle while maintaining the same weight, but I'm telling you, it literally takes five ever. The traditional way is way faster, though it's really up to you. So thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed that video. Let me know down in the comments if you have any additional questions for me. If you want to catch another one of my videos, there's a video right here. There's a video right here. Please give this video a thumbs up. It really helped me out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right here. See you all tomorrow morning.